Hey guys, just a few moments ago, Google released their Firebase Studio, the full stack AI workspace. In this video, I will show you what it is, how it works, and then in end of the video, I will compare Firebase with Lovable. A lot of people in Reddit are hating right now the Firebase Studio, and I will provide my honest feedback in end of the video. Is it worth it or it not? Firebase Studio right now is for free. You can check out the link down below the first one and check it out yourself. And let's check it out what it is. So the Firebase Studio accelerates your entire development lifecycle with AI agents, build backends, frontends, and mobile apps in one place. By the way, really cool website. I like the presentation of the website. It's really clear what it is. Get to work quickly wherever you are. Go from opening your browser to build in minutes, not hours. Import your existing repos from GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket or your local machine with support for most tech stacks or use the app or prototyping agent to quickly create a new applications using natural language mockups, driving tools, screenshots or select from a large catalog of popular frameworks or language templates. So in short terms with Firebase Studio you can build any type of app just like entering the prompt and it's right now for free. Let's test it out how it works. Let's click get started. And here we are. Here we need to enter the prototype of your app that you want to build. I have already prepared like a prompt for the app what I want to create. So I want to create a simple note taking application called Quick Note Taker. The app should allow users to create new notes, save notes, view a list of notes, view no details. The design should be minimalist. It should be mobile friendly, responsive. We're going to use React or any other language focus on the most important thing is to get the basic note taking functionality working quickly. We are mentioning that we are okay with simpler URL, a UI. The first thing what you're going to do, it will prototype the app and it will do like a reasoning. It will show what the app is about, what we want to use, what we want to achieve and so forth. So here you can see it looks like similar that we use on Gemini for reasoning. So the app is called NoteFlow. The features are note creation, auto save, note list view, note detail view, smart tagging, the color scheme, layout is mobile friendly, responsive, the same as we mentioned in the prompt, simple, minimalistic, okay, animation, yep, and here let's try to change color scheme to black, white, and gray, and let's see, can it prototype, yep, so here before it start to create, we are just like layouting everything what we want to achieve with this, and let's see, okay, it doesn't show the color what he has chosen, but whatsoever. Let's just start to prototype the app. Okay, while it's building everything, I cannot visit any of the code. It's just like opening, closing the tabs itself. I will take a timer, how much that does it takes. So I started the timer. Let's see how much time it's gonna take. Okay, so it took a little bit more than one minute to create this, and let's see what it got. On the first run, it got error. So on the first one, we have an error and we need to fix it. So I'm going to copy all the error. This is a bummer. Come on, guys. Like it starts with error. I guess everybody will lose here. They're going to go away. They won't use it. Okay, let's see how much time it's going to take. It's just thinking, checking for the errors. So in the first minute of creating the app, it's already broken. It doesn't work. This is shame, Google. This is a shame. By the way, a little bit later in this video, I will show you how I tried to replicate the app that I have created with Lovable in with using the same prompt and the Firebase gave me, oh my God, what kind of result are you going to see later? Okay, the timer is ticking. It's already 40 seconds. It tried to fix the errors and let's see what we got here. Will it be fixed? And after 50 seconds, nothing has been fixed. Okay, in this case, we want copy the error from here. So we are almost two and a half minutes in and there we have already two errors and we haven't seen any prototype yet. Okay, another minute has passed by and again error. So it's ridiculous. We cannot create anything. Come on, man. This is just ridiculous. We already three or four minutes in the project and we haven't seen anything, like anything. Just show something to us. Oh my God. We already, again, I started it. I restart the timer again and we already like minute and 20 seconds and it will in total will be like five minutes and we don't see any results. 
This is ridiculous. Come on, Google. Work your magic. I thought Google has all the information in the world, but come on, man. You don't know how to code. Like you, jo you just go all the time around. I'm just seeing it's just like copying and pasting the same thing back and forth. It's total ridiculous. Okay. And we already six minutes in. It, it was helpful? Not. It wasn't helpful. Oh my god. Fix the... Okay. And let's provide the error. Fix the issue. I cannot start. Maybe I rewrite all code. Maybe rewrite all code. Yep. Okay. It looks super bad. Okay, we are already like five and a half minutes in and all we got is like multiple errors and nothing been working. Let's compare Lovable with Firebase Studio. Here is the same prompt I gave for Firebase Studio. And here is Lovable to create a design for a specific website. For example, here is Lovable output. It created template like marketplace, very good looking as I wanted with reviews, the pricings, everything. And then I gave to Firebase the exact same prompt with all the specific actions and so forth. And this is the output and it looks bad. So what is the conclusion here? Is Firebase good? Not yet. Will it be? I don't know. We spent here almost six minutes and didn't get any results. I hope they're going to fix on their end all the bugs. Right now, it doesn't seem that it's ready and I still would still use Lovable or we zero dev to create the front end. By the way, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and give some comment what you want to see in the next videos.